Gentlemen, it's now time for the fabulous Price is Right pricing game recap for Wednesday, the 3rd of October, 2012. Here are the pricing games that were played today. Range Game, Lucky 7, Grand Game, Balance Game, One Right Price, and Switcheroo. Suzanne was the first contestant, who is a first grade teacher from Oceanside. Her last name was Cooper, and no, she was not related to Sheldon Cooper, Jim Parsons' character on The Big Bang Theory. She played range game for a chance to win a trip to Spain, and that included a six-night stay in a deluxe room including daily breakfast at the World Hotel's Grand Hotel Conde Duke, plus an evening panoramic tour of Madrid, followed by dinner and a flamenco show at a nightclub, and that was modeled by the awesome Amber Lancaster. The low price on the range was $8,300, and the high price on the range was $8,900. Suzanne froze the $150 range between about $8,480 and $8,630. And when the actual retail price lit up in the dark green strip, it was eight thousand five oh five. Suzanne became a winner, and that's how you start off a show. You gotta love it. Katrina was the second contestant, who is originally from Los Angeles and now lives in Victorville, and she is an employee of the Southern California Gas Company which is in Los Angeles, I think. She played Lucky 7 for a chance to win a Ford Focus S, and in the driver's seat was the ravishing Rachel Reynolds. The first number in the price of the car was 1. For the second number, Katrina believed that it was 5. But it was actually 9! Cost her $4! If Flabber from Big Bad Beetleborgs was hosting The Price is Right today, and Katrina had to give him four dollars, he more than likely would have said this. That's gonna hurt is right. Alright, for the third number, Katrina believed that it was four, but it was two, cost her two dollars. So she had one dollar left, meaning the last two numbers had to be on the nose. For the fourth number, she believed that it was seven, was seven a lucky choice? Yes, it was! Seven was the fourth number. Now, could she get the last number exactly right? If so, she would have made a big comeback. She believed the fifth number was four. If I was playing along, I was thinking eight. Well, when the last number in the price of the Ford Focus S was revealed, the price read out as... Nineteen thousand two hundred seventy eight. My guess was right. Scott was the third contestant, who is from Walnut, California, and is a graduate of Cal Poly Pomona, and now he is going to be pursuing a career in becoming a physical education teacher. He played grand game for a chance to win up to $10,000, but of course he had to start off with just $1. The target price today was $7. He first chose the 8.5 ounce package of the Keebler fudge sticks. They were $3.49. He went up to $10. Next, he chose the 7-ounce jar of Star Manzanilla Spanish Olives. And they were $3.19. He went up to $100. Dollars. 
Next he chose the Maybelline Blush Compact. I have to say, I didn't feel too good on that choice. And when Drew revealed the price of the Blush Compact for Maybelline, it was... $5.51! Scott was up to $1,000. He did not want to take the $1,000 and quit. He went on for $10,000, believing that the six-pound Duraflame Extra Flammable Log was less than $7. As I was playing along, I was thinking it was the Bayer Low Dose Aspirin, as I was thinking it was $6.42, a very familiar price. Alright, when Drew revealed what the price of the Duraflame Log was, it turned out to be... Wow! I was thinking it was $7.99, but the price was actually... 529! Scott won $10,000! The Bayer Low Dose, Low Dose Aspirin, excuse me, was $10.34, another familiar price. And the 6 ounce bottle of the Ulta SPF 70 sunscreen was $9.99. Joel was the fourth contestant, who is a special ed teacher from Riverside. He played balance game for a chance to win an Ashley Furniture Shade bedroom group that brings together a rich dark finish with sophisticated detailing to create a look sure to awaken the decor of any bedroom with two drawers underneath to add extra storage space, a Comforter Luxor Queen mattress that will lavish you with individual comfort at the touch of a button to give you a great night's sleep, and a Amazon.com Kindle Fire Wi-Fi tablet computer that features a 7-inch vibrant color touchscreen and dual-core processor, all modeled by Rachel, who is wearing a robe from Barefoot Dreams. And products from Barefoot Dreams is available for people to have a chance to win on PricesRight.com. Just want to acknowledge that right now. After when Drew gave Joel a lucky Drew dollar and the $948 bag for free that was placed on the scale, Joel chose the $3,000 and $2,000 bag, leaving out the $1,000 bag, making a price of $5,948. I have to say, I felt pretty good on that choice. And when the marvelous Manuela Arbelez took the bag full of Drew dollars for the prize package, and placed it on the opposite side of the scale. The scales! Balance! Joel became a winner! Tina was the fifth contestant. She played One Right Price for a chance to win a 28 cubic foot stainless steel refrigerator that comes equipped with an LCD touchscreen and apps that allow you to leave digital memos and check your day's schedule, modeled by Amber, and a 46-inch Samsung 3D high-def TV that can sync media for multiple devices and features built-in Wi-Fi and Skype with two pairs of 3D glasses included, modeled by Rachel. The one right price of $3,499 was brought out by Manuela, and Tina believed it went to the refrigerator as the audience was suggesting that to her. So, when Manuela placed the $3,499 price onto the refrigerator and then revealed the actual retail price, it was $3,499! Tina became the fourth winner of the day. The price of the TV was not shown, but it didn't matter. Tina won both prizes. Nancy was the last contestant, who is from Tarzana and works with home loans. She played switcheroo for a chance to win a Chevy Sign LS5 door hatchback, modeled by Manuela, and these four prizes. A cosmetics bag that can keep your travel essentials organized, Lady sunglasses that feature extra flare lining on the upper rim to complement any shaped face. A stainless tumbler that holds 16 ounces of your favorite beverage and features a unique rollerball system to open and close the lid. And a stainless steel barbecue grill set 
that has everything you need and includes a tearing tape so they're ready to go when you are. In Nancy's first 30 seconds, she placed 4 as the missing number for the car, making the price $15,940, 3 as the missing number for the cosmetics bag, making the price $35, 7 as the missing number for the lady's sunglasses, making a price of $70. The 1 as the missing number for the tumbler, making the price $10. And 2 as the missing number for the barbecue grill set, making the price $20. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how many did she have right? I'll tell you that Nancy had one right. So, Drew offered Nancy a second 30 seconds. And this time, she placed 7 as the missing number for the car, making the price $15,970. She kept the 3 for the cosmetics bag, keeping it $35. She put 4 as the missing number for the sunglasses, making the price $40. She placed 2 as the missing number for the tumbler, making the price $20. And she placed 1 as the missing number for the grill set, making the price $10. Now, how many did Nancy have right this time? Believe it or not, she had three right! Was one of the prizes the car? We will find out right now. Rachel came up on the turntable to reveal the prizes that Nancy got correct. The first prize she got right was... The sunglasses. They were $40. The next prize she got right was the cosmetics bag. That was $35. And now the third and final prize. Was it the car? Was it the tumbler? Or was it the grill set? Well, I'll tell you that the third and final prize that Nancy won to end today's show was the Tumblr. It was $20. The price of the car was $15,910 and the barbecue grill set was $70. But she did win the three prizes that she won that totaled $95 and that will be a consolation win. And now, on to the acknowledgement section. Before I get to it, Drew pointed out that there was no such thing as a $10 grilling set. <laughs> Alright, according to NBC 11 News Clips, in the first showcase showdown, Katrina did not go all the way around on the first spin. When she spun again, it did go all the way around and landed on the dollar and won $1,000. In one right price, both the refrigerator and the 3D HD TV were from Samsung. Also, they didn't show Rachel revealing the price of the HD TV. $11,000 was given away. $10,000 won by Scott and Grand Game, and $1,000 won by Katrina in the first showcase showdown. In the showcase, an emerald necklace and trips to Pebble Beach and Ireland were part of a green themed showcase. Can't forget about the $3,000 that was also in that showcase. And this next acknowledgement is from not only NBC 11 News Clips, but also Sports Guy 528 and Ben Mason Television. We had our first double overbid in the showcase this season, starting today. What a shame. Oh, well, that's the acknowledgement. Today we had four pricing games won. They were range game, grand game, balance game, and one right price. And like NBC 11 News Clips acknowledged, $11,000 in cash was won. Katrina once again for $1,000 in the first showcase showdown, and $10,000 won by Scott and Grand. The contestant recognition contestants are Katrina and Nancy for their respective small wins. And the MVPs of the Price is Right are Suzanne, Scott, Joel, and Tina. Now it's time for this week's sponsor. Promotional consideration for the Price is Right pricing and recap provided by Logitech Webcams. 
At this time, I'd like to give A Pizzle 90 a birthday shout out. It is his birthday today. Happy birthday to him. Also, I'd like to give a belated anniversary shout out to the Cartoon Network. It turned 20 years old back on Monday, the 1st of October. And that was something that Meathead177 wanted me to acknowledge, so there you go. And I need to correct a mistake that I made on yesterday's Price Game Recap. During race game, I mentioned that Manuela modeled the Blu-ray home theater system. Well, that is true, but I forgot to mention that Rachel also mentioned, also modeled the Blu-ray system, so just for that, so I'm not going to let that little mistake uh, get get behind. That, 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 that little mistake is now behind me, and now I move forward. So, this concludes tonight's Price is Right Pricing and Recap. Will Rat Race or Secret X be played so Sports Guy 528 can recap those games for tomorrow or Friday? Or will that... Or will that go watch? Or Spelling be be played for tomorrow or Friday for J. Van Diesel to recap? Or will three strikes be played for I'm264 Shirt to do the first playing, as Neil Rocks 87 mentioned in one of his uploads? Neil Rocks 87 says that he can wait for the second one. We'll find out what pricing games get played tomorrow. Until then, this has been Mr. Horgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Good night, everyone.